These sets are amazing, and the places we got to shoot were breathtaking, and I felt incredibly honored to be in these places. Your father didn't believe in revenge. We believe in Fremen. Let me fight beside you. Zendaya, ton personnage est plus présent que dans le précédent film. Comment décrirais-tu l'évolution de ton personnage <rire> Definitely. We were talking about like doing press for the movie the first time, and I was like, I did more press for the movie than I was in the movie. <laughs> But that being said, I did feel very welcome, and everybody was so kind, and I and I wanted so much to have the opportunity to work with Denny longer, mm. and really get to see how he runs his sets and how he does the magic, you know. So it was really special to be able to to get to know the character more, but also get to know these amazing people that I get to work with more. What I appreciate so much about the female characters in this particular um, film is that there is no one definition of what a strong female character looks like. I think strength can be manifested in many different ways, whether that be quite literally terrifying or passionate or tender or vulnerable. I think all the characters, the female characters are complex and interesting and conflicting and I think that's what makes them strong. Austin, c'est comment de jouer le méchant It's so fun. So so much fun. It's very different from anything that I've done before and getting to watch the first film and seeing what Z and Timothy and the entire crew and Denis did was just uh, one of the My favorite films of that year. It was a dream come true. It was so much fun. I was looking for something to challenge myself and do something very different. And this was very different from anything that I've done. Qu'est-ce que ce film peut nous apprendre sur la nature humaine? Yeah, how dark and conflicted and just to be wary. And this is a book that was written 70 years ago, but the metaphors on human nature, on the climate, on cultural conflict, it's all prescient. It all rings true today. I would say exactly the same thing. It's scary to think that it was relevant when he wrote it. It's relevant now. And I think he thinks it's going to be relevant in thousands of years. I think if anything, it's to listen and take heed to those things. C'est un privilège de jouer dans de tels décors. Comment c'était Entering into that set, it's extraordinary. All the hard work that went into building those sets and and designing them and, and the, the vision that went into it. And then suddenly you're there as an actor. And it, I mean, for me, I, I always, in moments like that, I, I feel like a kid has just stumbled into my dream, you know? It's so beautiful to get to immerse yourself in this world. And it, it's really spectacular. It's, it's amazing, yeah. I think the first time I didn't get to see anything. <laughs> so when I, I wanted to know what the sets looked like, but I hadn't actually been on them before. Like anyone who got to go see the film and, and experience it, I was like a fan and I went in there and I just was like, how did you guys make this? What was practical? I had so many questions. And somehow, even with the magical <laughs> nature of it, I still felt like when I did peek behind the curtain, it was still just as magical. I mean, these sets are amazing. And the places we got to shoot were breathtaking. And I felt incredibly honored to be in these places. You feel very small in the most beautiful way. Thank <laughs> you.